Hey everybody, Shazza here. Um, so, yesterday I went to brunch with my best friend and he came to my house, I was eating some eggs and he was like, stop eating those eggs, we're going to brunch, we're going to Black Swan. Black Swan is this restaurant that's like, too far to walk in the wintertime, great walk in the spring, good walk in the summer, starts to get real about August, that's how far it is. Okay, so, the service there is shitty as the service is everywhere in Brooklyn and I'm aware of that. So I had eaten a half a plate of eggs and I knew I wasn't going to get my food right away when I got there. So I was in. I was like, I'm going to a place with shitty service. I'm aware. But for whatever reason, we like it because we like the fries. Okay. So he had forgotten that the service was so bad. So the whole time that we were there, he was just like reeling mad about the incident and I was like well dude I, I thought you knew um and it spurred this whole discussion about the service industry and the fact that we're older now and we're really not in the place anymore where we are beholden to going to a place where you know that you can spend 12 bucks on a plate because we're not in our early 20s anymore and I cook most of my food at home. So when I go out to eat, it's very plausible that I can go sit down somewhere and have a really nice brunch and just pay for it and not have to be frustrated. That said, when I come back to Brooklyn this summer, after I'm coming to Houston next Wednesday, by the way, cut in, coming to Houston next Wednesday, I'll be there through the entire month of March until early April. Early April, I'll be going to California. I'll be in Corona, I'll be in Santa Barbara, I'll be in the Bay Area, um, back down to LA, and then we'll see from there. I may be going to Colorado, I may be coming back to Texas, or I may be just coming back to New York. We'll see what happens. Anyway, when I come back, and the summer's here, and we want to sit outside, and we want to brunch all the time, I'm not doing it in Brooklyn. I love you, Brooklyn. I do. You've been my home for five years, but I cannot be served by any more kids that have never had any customer service experience in their lives before they got here and got cut off by their parents and now they have to get a job. I can't do that anymore. I can't be served by people that don't like their jobs and don't really give too much of a shit about making money for their establishment. Like, I can't. I am too old for that shit. And it is frustrating. And Black Swan, you've got to get your shit together. Your host, okay. But when they asked us to move from one seat to another, you should have offered us something. Or you should have at least explained why you were asking us to move tables after you had seated us. And we were already settled in. And already, no. Like, not cool. Waitress, you come as soon as we sit down in the first place to take our drinks. Like literally as soon as we sit down, we hadn't even looked at the drink menu. You leave and then we don't see you again, even though you're passing us right up after we're sitting at the next table that you just saw us move to. I know for some people, if you don't work in a restaurant, this sounds like, what are you talking about? But I've been, been, in, I've been working since I was 14 years old and I've been in the customer service industry, my, all of it. All of me working until now. And I guess I still am because I read tarot and I, you know, yeah, that's still customer service. So I'm very particular. On the other hand, I'm very understanding because I know all of the things that are going on behind the scenes. And I try not to be, you know, I try not to be a frustrating customer. I try to be very understanding as long as you're communicative. And I tip well. But. When I see just straight up inefficiency, it is so frustrating. And I just, it makes me not want to go back to that place. And that's how I feel now. This place is like not far from my house and I would love to still eat there. But I don't want to go back because I'm too old for that shit. And it, because I've been in the customer service industry, I'm checking out what's going on and I'm not enjoying myself. So I'm going to be going to Manhattan where service is pretty fast they might not be super nice but they're efficient and effective servers who actually care about making their rent and I would like to help them make their rent so if you live in New York City and 
maybe you live in Manhattan and you know all the good spots. I mean, I do. I used to, I've worked in a restaurant in Manhattan, so I know a lot of great spots. But the turnover of restaurants in New York City is so fast. And it's a new year, new whatever. So I don't know what's going to be popping this summer. So when I'm back. Somebody tell me because I think we're done with Brooklyn. Because no matter where you go, unless you're... Mm, Park Slope has some good places where you can get good service. But Williamsburg, Prospect Park, I mean Prospect Heights, Fort Greene, Clinton Hill, Bushwick. It's all bad. It's all bad. The food is amazing. You're going to get great food. Call it in and pick it up. Because if you go in to sit down, it's just going to be real slow it's very French service. I'll say that. I'm not going to say bad. It's very French. Don't expect a lot of quick service. A lot of... It's just, it's very chill. It's very chill. And that's okay for some people. It's not okay for me. I'm too neurotic for that. So, yeah. Mm-mm. I can't. I can't do it anymore, guys. What is What are your gripes about the customer service industry? And um, I will say this. I'm not going to write a Yelp review. This is probably bad enough. But I feel like I'm explaining why I'm upset about it. And not just shitting on the restaurant. So it's better than the Yelp review. And not that many people are going to watch it. And most of my audience isn't even in New York. So I feel like Black Swan, you're fine. Um... But I kind of have to call you out because it's just whack. Like, get it together. Please get it together because you could be running so much more efficiently if your waiters didn't all suck at their jobs. The back waiters there are dope. All of them. I always see the back waiters just going, 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 doing their job, doing what they got to do. For some reason, your actual servers are just shitty, just real shitty. I can tell. Anyway. I'm done. I'm going. And uh, yeah, see you next episode.